Mein Name ist Stefan Küng. Ed è Stefan Küng di BMC che vince netto su Silvio Erlotz. Kung est donc le nouveau king de Normandie. C'est formidable de gagner un tour de, de 7 jours en plus tour de Normandie. Le niveau est très très élevé et puis j'ai pris le maillot jaune au prologue et puis là il est revenu sur mes épaules. Stephen Kung came good in the end to claim third place with 43.59 with this great effort again in the closing kilometers. Swiss has done well, salvaging the third place there. Stephen Kung is coming back. The other. They are neck and neck. Absolutely neck and neck. I think Stefan Kuhn could be winning this one. Jack Bowbridge going for the line. Who's going to hit it first? Whoa, look at that. I think it's Stefan Kuhn who wins it. The men's individual pursuit medalist, Stefan Kuhn, the world champion. Jack Bowbridge is the silver medalist for Australia. Julian Maurice of France in the bronze of medal. Uh, das Zeitfahren habe ich trainiert in der Panne und jetzt uh, muss ich zeigen, was ich drauf habe. This is Stefan Kung. He is riding to glory in front of his home fans. It's loud, it's vocal, they brave the rain. What a day on this Tour de Romandy again for the Swiss riders. Today though, it's the future of Swiss cycling becoming the present. Stefan Kung knows it's time. It is his first World Tour victory and a man who is world champion on the track makes it an even better 2015 so far. BMC take the win from the breakaway and it is Stefan Kung who raises his arms and soaks up the adulation. It was an exchange with these world championships. See racing. because Griff goes made a move, looks behind and he's carrying on. Oh, he's trending towards the line, oh he's looking finished, he's looking gone. Surely he can't hold it off. Griff goes in prime position to go and take it here, but King is holding, King is so strong. This is incredible from Stefan Kung, leading out the sprint all on his own. And my, oh my, that is some win from the Swiss track star. is the line if that stands my goodness a very very good late run by Kung second place that's off to Jordan Thomas on a on a great ride but yeah I mean at the end was not such a bad debut for my Tour de France here of Stefan Kuhn coming into the finish and look at the time by Stefan Kuhn the former world champion on the track crosses the line and just as we were saying that the time gaps had been very tight at the top Stefan Kuhn comes across the line and absolutely smashes it Stefan Kuhn always looks brilliant on a bike and today he will be looking 
Very good on the top of the podium. And here he is to savor his moment. Four hours, ten minutes of terrific, torturous riding. And Stefan Kung does it again. Three times in the last four years. Et donc Stéphane Kung s'impose en solitaire en ayant même le temps de savourer la victoire. Other riders now trying to come across and respond. It looks like Stephen Kung right there trying to get across him right now, the Swiss rider. Avec, euh, avec mon cœur et avec la passion. 